In Greek mythology, the tale of Nephili, a cloud nymph, unfolds in a significant event involving Ixion and the origin of centaurs. Ixion, a mortal king, committed a grave transgression by attempting to seduce Hera, Zeus' wife. Outraged by Ixion's audacity, Zeus devised a plan to punish him for his hubris and reckless indulgence. The cunning god created Nephili, a cloud nymph, in the likeness of Hera, ensuring she resembled the goddess in both appearance and demeanor. When Ixion laid eyes on Nephili, he was captivated by her beauty, convinced that she was Hera herself. Driven by desire, he tried to seduce her, oblivious to the divine trap set before him. Zeus, witnessing the entire encounter, decided to make an example of Ixion, a mortal who dared to make advances towards the queen of the gods. With the wrath of a thunderstorm, Zeus devised a punishment befitting Ixion's crime. Ixion's fate was to be eternally bound to a flaming wheel in Tartarus. This agonizing torment was just the beginning, as the consequence of his impious act with Nephili would have far-reaching consequences. Despite the severity of his punishment, Ixion and Nephili did engage in a union, leading to the birth of Centaurus, who, in turn, fathered the first centaurs, creatures with the upper bodies of men and the lower bodies of horses, symbolizing their mixed heritage. To understand how Ixion, a mortal, found himself in the presence of such exalted company, we must examine his life before the fateful encounter with Nephili. Ixion was the son of a king and married Dia, a princess, promising her father a generous bride price. However, after the marriage, Ixion repeatedly dodged honoring his promise, leading to his father-in-law's theft of Ixion's prized Mares to coerce him into fulfilling his vow. Unyielding, Ixion set a deadly trap in the form of a fiery pit, causing his father-in-law's demise. In Greek mythology, the crimes of killing family members and slaying someone after extending hospitality are considered the most despicable. As Ixion committed both sins, he became a cursed and ostracized figure, shunned by all, with no one willing to cleanse him of his blood guilt. Zeus decided to extend an invitation to Ixion to Mount Olympus, where he could reside among the gods. Yet, even in the divine realm, Ixion's nature prevailed. During his stay at Olympus, Ixion laid eyes on Hera, and his lecherous gaze did not go unnoticed. Hera informed Zeus of Ixion's inappropriate behavior, leading to the divine punishment that had been set in motion at the start of this tale. Thus, the cycle of Ixion's wickedness and lack of scruples culminated in his eternal torment upon a spinning flaming wheel in Tartarus, forever paying for his audacious attempt to bed the queen of the gods and defy Zeus himself. In conclusion, the story of Nephili, Ixion, and the creation of the centaur serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of hubris and moral corruption. Nephili's role as the decoy Hera highlights the god's capacity for cunning and punishment. Ixion's audacious actions, driven by his base desires, led to his downfall, leaving him perpetually trapped in Tartarus as a warning to all who dare challenge divine authority. Through this myth, the ancient Greeks sought to emphasize the importance of respecting the gods and the consequences of defying their power.